Hello Pisces. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. Hurricane Dorian was a bugger. It took us down in power for a week. Um, internet is still not up as I'm doing this video, but I thought it's Saturday. I'm going to start the videos for next week because I missed last week. And uh, so that when my internet comes up, I can just upload them all and, and still be on schedule, even if I've missed a week. So thank you guys for your support. Thank you for your, your love. And let's get on with your reading. We'll start with the Oracle cards from the Fairy deck. We have Honesty and the Singer of Chalices. Now... When I first shuffled this Pisces, this came out in reverse, the honesty card. So it, and I get the feeling that you have a feeling that someone isn't being honest with you or there's a lack of communication. Um, this may be a temptation for you to, to react without thinking it out because we have the singer of chalices. And I think what needs to be understood here, Pisces, is that whatever is going on with this person, you need to be you. You need to do what you do best. You're a healer. Uh, you have abundance of love. And when you're in this position, abundance flows in all areas of your life. So don't get caught up with someone whether they're communicating well or not, or if they're being honest or not. And um, I also get the feeling that this person might be a bit of a manipulator, but that that's always been the way they got things done or the way they dealt with things. Uh, they may be the kind of person that just says, um, I love you, Pisces. And then... You don't hear from them again for a while. It isn't that their feelings have changed. It's just that's the way they've always been. And it does come across as being dishonest. But I think you're starting to get a grasp on the reality of things where this person is concerned. That uh, this is the only way they know how. And it isn't that... Uh, it isn't that they can't change and open up because I, I feel that they will. The honesty card, after all, I think they have been honest. Maybe they haven't been as open and forthright with you, uh, but they need time for that. They, What I see here, Pisces, is you're nurturing your ability to give love unconditionally. And sometimes this is a chore for you because if you're not being emotionally fed, if you're not receiving the, the support emotionally, um, then it becomes a drain and your cup becomes dry. But look, your cup is full. Okay. With the Shaman Oracle. I love this. The Council and the Spiral. You've already shed an old skin. You're in a new phase. You're, you're, you're looking for far ahead and you're looking at the short term at the same time so in looking far ahead some of you have made a decision long term and allowed yourself some time to get in the groove of that because it, the the right time was not now the right time might be in a month from now or two months from now or three months from now or next year looking at this long-term goal but with the spiral this new skin is soft you're still going through this healing process and even though your cup is full you might every now and then reflect back and start poking at yourself poking at faults in yourself and maybe i need to fix more of this of me or maybe i need to to say this to this person to help them open up really you don't have to do anything this card tells you you don't have to do a thing you don't need to fix anything. You don't need to fix on uh, work on your faults. You just have to um, give it time. This is all about giving it time. Your skin will harden and not in a negative way, in a productive way. It will 
Um, it'll be good, Pisces. This is a be beautiful new cycle you're coming into. And the most beautiful part of this cycle that you're going into is the counsel that you're receiving. This could be earthly counsel, but this more denotes um, on the shamanic level, the counsel of your ancestors and your spirit guides and your guardians that you commune with in your sleep or when you're in meditation or when you're in prayer. They're counseling you with all the right information and and it looks to me Pisces you are so open to that communication unfortunately you're not getting it from this person or if you're getting it from this person it's very sporadic because they're they're not able to handle emotions and getting into their emotions they end up with this face utter sadness I'm really babbling on too long about that but I think that's very specific for uh, a lot, a lot of Pisces, what they've been going through with this, uh, this last full moon. Oh, I was so regretful, you guys, that I missed that last full moon with you wanting to uh, talk about it all last week. And I couldn't because there was no power. So let's get on with your tarot reading for the week ahead or the next 10 days or whenever you clicked on that title when it intrigued you. Temptation and the King of Earth. So you could be dealing with an Earth sign. And you may be feeling that you're, or you're, this could be a boss. Okay, there's a couple of different scenarios here. You could be feeling that um, if you're apart from this person, that they're, they're being tempted. Maybe that's preoccupying your thoughts, that maybe they're being tempted by others and, and not being steadfast and loyal and you know true to you this could also be a boss and maybe there's a temptation for a, an office affair here this could be this person who does not necessarily have to be an earth sign but they have that quality of stability and groundedness and really they're just focusing on money it's just all about money um they could be afraid that you're being tempted away from them. But let's continue. The hangman, that's you, Pisces. That's your card. You're looking at things from different perspectives. You may be a little withdrawn while you're doing this. Perhaps you're even showing disciplines, just disciplining yourself to, to step back and say, no, I, I've got all kinds of things that I have to work on internally, externally, um, things that are in your immediate surroundings that need your attention. So we're regarding your crowned energy, even though you might be thinking, you know, how can I communicate better? It's best you feel that you don't until until the right time you know how the universe works once you're inspired to do something look out nothing stops you yeah you're just focusing on you your work your pentacles saving your money working on your future stability you're grounded you're harmonized and you got the your nose to the wheel uh, or you know the no the wheel, whatever you call what nose grind <laughs> messenger of earth so this two meanings could be you finding new ways of doing things uh that are more productive maybe you're handling time management better this can also be uh that long-term goal that you're working step by step towards with a great deal of patience you're not in a hurry you're like all right i made a decision about something uh, uh let's wait and see how it unfolds you know in some of the reasons re readings where the advice is to let things unfold naturally that's exactly what you're doing eight of fire these are uh, your guardian is taking you out of this maze of confusion 
uh, into creative communication. I think because of this, the axe to the grindstone, that's it. <laughs> Keeping the axe to the grindstone. You're becoming more creative in your time management, your way of doing things. Um, really feeling settled within yourself. Like we've got water and fire sandwiching two earth cards, which is stability, being grounded, balanced. And you're just nonchalantly hanging from this tree, looking at it from a different perspective. Unlike the other tarot decks where the hangman is just illuminated in his mind, you are completely illuminated. It's like you're looking after body, heart, soul, putting you first and looking at things from a, a fair, compassionate way. And now these messages are creative. But I see you taking your time. You're still mulling over things like this temptation. Are they tempted? Are they worried about you being tempted? And you're like, I'll just wait and see what happens. Perhaps this person is tempted by someone else. Oh, but what has that really got to do with you, Pisces? They're on their own path. And you're just keeping focused on yours. But look at this love. There is an abundance of love here coming in. New love, renewed love, cup overflowing love. And what a treasure. I like that they use the seahorse. The heart of your reading is strength. No wonder, eh, guys? This, even with the oracles. You're good. You've tamed the ego. You don't care if a person likes you or not. You're still going to be you. Do you. Uh, walk your talk. You're good with yourself. You've had a lot of courage, bravery, strength, taming the beast within, and walking your talk. Yeah, I'm repeating myself. I know. Sorry. Well, I, I missed you guys. It's been a couple of weeks. Five of water. Yeah. All right. So we've sandwiched strength with the ace of water and the five of water. You had to a lot of strength from this love that you have grieved over. So for those of you in separation, yeah, grief, mourning, mourning uh, the death of a relationship, perhaps. But look, there's that seahorse on your tail. Don't you find that interesting now? The seahorse is on your tail and the seahorse is all about love. And you've shown a lot of courage and bravery to go through the steps that you've had to go through in order to find yourself, to tame yourself. The universe is going to reward you. You have money coming in. It's going to be luck, fame, fortune um, for some of you. But the universe is moving in your favor. Then we have the magician. This could be uh, Virgo or Gemini. Or, or both. Someone manifesting you into their life. You manifesting your future. It is right beside the wheel of fortune. We've got the ten and the one. New beginnings. New beginnings when it comes to career, money, um, and what you are manifesting. Perhaps you've already manifested this and it's just taking off. Nine of fire. This is defensive energy. Worried if you are wasting energy on a specific something or other. It's depleted your energies in the past. And it's almost like the seven of coins where do, do I wait patiently for this harvest? Do I wait longer? For some of you Pisces, this is about putting up walls around yourself because you feel devoted and dedicated to someone in particular and willing to do the work and do the time uh, before you reunite. Others of you are, you're wasting your energy on someone who is not feeling the same way. You're, or this can also be your defenses are up 
and no one can get through to you, not even your heart of hearts. Let's clarify these cards. And the two that flew out during the pre-shuffle. No, three. King of Earth has the chariot. So you could be dealing with a cancer. No, I can't update my virus protection for heaven's sake. I have no internet yet. Uh, you could be dealing with a Cancerian. Or this could be uh, this person who is grounded, either an earth sign or very grounded or stable. Uh, there's movement forward with this person. And it's quick movement. The temptation card, oh, pardon me, we've got the Queen of Cups. Pisces, you may be tempted to give your cup elsewhere and not wait any longer. You know, perhaps some of you, because of this card down here, and you're keeping your walls and barriers up because, um, and your strength has been depleted. It could be that more than one person is in your life or someone's trying to break through those barriers to get to you, but you're keeping them up for this decision that you made that you knew would take time so here's the queen of cups being tempted someone's banging at your walls let me in let me in and you're tempted you're either tempted to go for it or you're tempted to not go for it because some of you should be some of you could be hanging on to something from the past that you just need to let go of not necessarily a person, but an energy. You may be tempted to give into a certain emotion that you've been trying to battle with. Perhaps it's about this. Um, again, the oracle, the communication, the honesty. Perhaps you're tempted to just race in there and say, look, I want the truth about something and it's, you're completely off the mark, completely off the mark that this person has been honest. Even if you suspect something's going on because they're not saying anything, there's no communication or little communication. So you have no idea what they're doing in their personal life. Three of cups. You want to celebrate. You want to this victorious celebration so you're in hangman mode waiting for this either a reunion this is the reunion card can also denote three-party situations i'm not seeing that anywhere in this spread though so far this is wanting reunion so you're putting in the time working on yourself you made a decision about something but you knew it would you, you even though you made the decision to do something or to to make this decision on your your crossroads um you knew that that would take time you're allowing yourself that time you put that time and distance to allow that so that the reunion would be worth celebrating three of swords in reverse um healing you're healing this person could have had you involved in a three-party situation or a many-party situation they could have put you last on the priority list, leaving you feel empty. So you're filling yourself, working on yourself, working on what makes you insecure, coming into this beautiful new cycle with the help of your counsel. Axe to the grindstone, Pisces. Messenger of Earth is going to be clarified by death. This came out in reverse too. Um, which is that transformation. I think you've completed this transformation. I, I think it's been completed. Um, this transformation, perhaps this transformation is a two, twofold transformation. You've completed one part and now you're waiting, moving forward, plodding along, doing your own thing. Allowing the universe to do the work. 
we have the devil yeah so communication you may want to say to this person look i just want honesty i want you to tell me what's going on you're not telling me nothing that's going on nothing are, are you seeing other people i mean you did say you loved me but are you seeing other people and this is the temptation you need to break some energies that you have harbored insecurities worry four of pentacles in reverse now well i'm not sure if it was in reverse to be honest i'm going to read it both ways this is being grounded look you've got your feet solidly on those coins you're saving your money you could be holding back communications holding back that flow of love and you could be holding on to some energies you need to release in order for that love to flow strength the Emperor so some of you could have been dealing with an Aries not necessarily the Emperor is the embodiment of all four Kings so you've had to have strength because you met your Emperor and it's not exactly what you expected because the emperor usually talks about wanting to be in control and pisces you're not used to being controlled they they may have control issues um they may be really really stubborn and this is where the strength has had to come in because they are so bloody stubborn that you had to take that step back and say all right um you're not ready universe has to work on you for a while i guess and me too but you see them as your emperor and your emperor by the way it's it, he he's he or she is here they're here you already know who this person is five of water prince of swords oh pisces i hope this is not a future card where you get some news that is just going to break your heart i think this has because it uh, reverse you know i really don't like it did come up in reverse but uh, lack of news lack of communication um your thoughts are worry that this person will come in and communicate that they don't want anything more to do with you they found someone else worry six of wands this is victory oh my gosh pisces this is victory on all levels this is victory in love victory in money victory in communication victory over your even your own thoughts now the magician you're manifesting that leap of faith perhaps through that decision that you made you manifested a, a future time set that you were going to take this leap of faith in trust in trust of this person perhaps they're the ones that are manifesting that leap of faith at a future point to jump towards you you are manifesting this future you are having victory victory on in love in money manifesting this future let's have a look at your barriers yes you're finishing that you're finishing that this is closing the cycle closing a cycle on old patterns old habits old people old things that de depleted your energy you're letting go of that letting go of that to allow this new future to come in if any of this resonates for you pisces you can ask me to pull you a card to help personalize it more for you in the extended reading so do join us over at the website it's only ten dollars a month but it gives you access to all the zodiacs and all of the afternoon delights 
Um, I am not sure if at the time of this reading that you get it, I'll, whether I'll be able to do any personal readings. I'm going to be, I may still be playing catch up from Hurricane Dorian, but uh, all the information will be in the box below. Facebook was the best way to get a hold of me because I could at least check my Facebook last week, but I give out a message every day, um, except for last week. Uh, yeah, messages every day and encouraging posts. Join us there too. God bless you, Pisces. Thank you for your patience, your support, your love, your everything. And we'll talk to you again soon, I hope. Bye for now.